Well, caught in the act, someone stealing mail from a home mailbox in Donaldson. Neighbors say this is a new low. That's right. News 4's Edward Birch live in the neighborhood. It's off East Lake Drive. Edward, we've all heard of porch pirates. So what do thieves want from this mailbox? Well, Tom and Tracy, it could be anything from a small package to stuff with personal information on it. There's even paychecks as well as prescription drugs. But in this case, the car rolled right up to the mailbox and they snatched whatever was inside. I just was stunned. Deborah Gregory lives in Donaldson. She was out of town when the motion sensor on her ring doorbell went off. When she went back to look at the footage, she saw a red car pulling up to her mailbox. My first thought was someone looking to steal someone's identity. Maybe they were looking for, hoping for a check, uh, but I don't know what they got. Gregory says she's noticed the same car passing through the neighborhood on her doorbell camera. Another neighbor's camera captured the same car. It's believed to be a Nissan Altima or a Nissan Sentra. She believes whoever it is lives nearby. I'm sure if he's done it once, he or she's done it many other times and they will get caught. Gregory says she's now working to plan a neighborhood meeting with Metro Police to talk about similar crimes of opportunity in Donaldson. I'm glad of all things that they picked my house to do it because they picked the wrong person, because I'm certainly going to get flyers out to my neighbors. It's scary. It's unnerving. This needs to be out there for all the neighbors to know, to be aware of. Now, according to the U.S. Postal Inspector, if you steal mail, it's a federal offense, and if charged, you can face up to five years in federal prison, as well as fines up to $250,000. And if you steal any personal information and use it, that's considered identity theft, and you'll be charged with that as well. Tom and Tracy. Good reminders of those penalties. Thank you very much, Edward.